So here are my top five free DAWs for Mac. It's been a minute since I've done one of these videos talking about my top five DAWs and a lot has changed. Some of it has changed for the better and I'm gonna talk about that in this video. So anyways, I'm gonna jump into it, here we go. So the first DAW I'm gonna talk about is GarageBand because if you own a Mac, you have GarageBand. And even though it's like the little brother to Logic, there's a lot you can do with GarageBand. To start off, it's simple. It's easy, it's great for beginners. So if you've never done anything with DAWs before in audio production, you can jump into this pretty quickly and start making some music without having to spend hours and hours and hours raking the internet for how to get started videos. There are a ton of effects. You have synthesizers, you have the virtual drummer system, so you can like select your drummer and start creating right away. And it wouldn't surprise me in the next couple of years or so, you're going to start seeing more of the AI creeping into the GarageBand as you do in Logic. As systems get more powerful, so will these features. Something I didn't touch on on my last video was the collaboration aspect of GarageBand. You can sync it up with iCloud and start collaborating, which is something you struggle with in some of the more expensive DAWs out there. Of course, it does have its limits, for example, track count. So if you're looking for something with more track count, like if you like to set up a lot of microphones, then this probably isn't the DAW for you. But if you're looking to get into recording, and uh, especially if you're new to the Mac ecosystem, this is a great piece of software. So the next DAW that I'm going to talk about is Pro Tools Intro. This is their free subscription entry level DAW. All the functionality of Pro Tools is the same. The only thing that's really different is the fact that they really limit you on track count. I think Pro Tools intro is good for the fact that if you want to get into the Pro Tools ecosystem, like let's say you're a student or you're looking to uh, work professionally in other studios, bigger ones that do use Pro Tools, then this is a good thing to know. But like GarageBand, because it does limit you on track count, it is hard to do bigger productions with it. So if you want to record a full band, um, you're going to struggle with it. But with that said, if you are already established in recording and you don't want to pay for a subscription or you don't want to have a limited track count, then there are some other better options out there. Which leads me into number three, Waveform Free. So now that I got the intro DAWs out of the way, I want to talk about Waveform because I've talked about Waveform now for years and I find that it's just been getting better and better. For starters, the UI is fantastic. It looks really good. You have an unlimited track count. So, so right out of the box, you have a fully functional working DAW that you can download for free right now. It's available on Mac. It's also available on PC and Linux. You can use third-party VST and AU effects. And just like Logic, it does have its own smart virtual features. Like you can generate bass tracks. So if you want something to get up and running and start writing right away, Waveform Free is fantastic. They're really trying to get developers to really focus on creating uh, plugins and other cool module applications for Waveform. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check out this DAW. DAW number four. Ardor. So Ardor is also another DAW that I've talked about. This is a smaller company. It's actually more of a community that I believe that is putting together. What's cool about Ardor is it's an open source application. So you right now can download the source code and contribute to the community, which again, if you're into that kind of stuff, it's great. Just like Waveform, you have unlimited tracks. Um, you have plugins that you get for free as well. It's I don't believe it's as big of a bank as you would get out of Waveform, but it's everything you need to get started. Because it's a smaller group of people working on this software, progress is probably gonna be a little bit slower. So if you're looking for the latest, greatest AI virtual drummer application, it's gonna be a little bit slow because again, developing software takes a long time and doing it right takes even longer. So, and I think they're doing it right. From what I played with, I really enjoy using this software. I find maybe it does look a little bit dated now. Um, it's still a really cool piece of software. So so if you're into supporting the underdog, um, check out Ardor. Absolutely. My fifth? Am I on five already? Wow, this is a fast video. Anyways, my fifth DAW is the new DAW that I'm adding to this list, and it's Luna by Universal Audio. Now, out of all the DAWs, I think I know this one the least because I just started using it to actually make this video because I actually didn't realize it was free till not too long ago. I think they're just making it free so you download it, but then you upgrade um, your plugins and just different extensions you can get for Luna. Good things about Luna. Um, I really like the interface. Because I'm a Pro Tools user, all the short keys are basically the same. So I was able to jump into a session and start working pretty quick. So if you already have experience with DAWs, this is a pretty easy one to jump onto. Now, when you download Luna, basically they're gonna give you Luna Pro for like 30 days. So you get to see what the paid plugins are like, and they're really good. Like I've been using like 
a lot of the API plugins that they have. There's a ton of saturation plugins, but if you are just using the free version, I think after your 30 day trial, you just have a couple basic plugins. So it's a little bit light on that. So if you're looking for some more plugins, then I mean, check out Waveform free. But Luna is one thing that I'm gonna keep my eye on and keep messing around with because what I've seen so far, I really like it. And as a bonus, free DAW, which isn't technically free, but I always put on this list is Reaper because you can pay for a personal license for $60. You can pay for the commercial version. I think it's $260. But if you keep refreshing the trial time, you can use it for free. Do I recommend you doing that? You do you. But like the last few DAWs that I listed, there's a lot that comes with Reaper. Um, there is a ton of effects. They keep on updating it, which is really good. There's always new features coming out. So I think it's a really good DAW. It's got a strong community, especially on YouTube. I think like Reaper fans are the new tool fans. It's just a very passionate community. So I'm not gonna say anything bad about Reaper because I don't wanna see it lit up in the comments, but it is really good software. Those are my suggestions. If you're looking for free Mac software out there, check out those five plus the Reaper bonus. So now if I was to take a look at the DAWs that I've listed and rank my favorite right away, I know that Pro Tools intro and GarageBand are off because I need track counts. I tend to use a lot of microphones on drums and bass and la di da, so right away, I'm gonna just get rid of those. So if I was to look at Ardor, Waveform, Free, um, Luna, and Reaper, Ardor is good, but I feel you get more out of Waveform. I just think it's a better piece of software. I think they did a great job in the interface. You get a ton of plugins, unlimited track count. It's a full out working professional DAW that you don't have to pay for. And if you are into development, they are really looking at growing their application and enticing developers with um, always adding new stuff to say the Juice framework or something like that. So anyways, I'm gonna go with Waveform. I'm sorry, Reaper, you're cool, but I found another. Don't hate me in the comments.